Hey, did you like that? Let me show you how you do it. Stay tuned. So what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Glad to see you all here. For those who are new, my name is Bakn again. I'm an Amarai radiographer. So in my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amarai topics, tutorials, troubleshooting, just like this one. So if you haven't already subscribed yet, considering doing so. The reason for making this video is because a few days ago, I did post a TMJ dynamic post on my Instagram profile. And I saw a lot of people were interested in this. And I know that many of you guys are wondering how you, this can be done. And I already know that many of you guys also know how this can be done. So I hope you can find this video valuable because today I'm going to show you how I do it and how you can perform this kind of dynamic TMJ. So without further ado, let's go to the scan and I will show you. All right, so in front of you here, you can see I already did a coronal um, localizer and transversal localizer. The sequence I have in front of me here takes around 33 seconds. So how am I supposed to do a dynamic when it takes around 33 seconds? I will show you pretty soon. And the weighted of this sequence is some kind of a hybrid, it's just something I made to, 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 to check this approach. So with these settings, uh, I, I find that the meniscus comes clearly and you can see it in the movement. So that's why I'm choosing this kind of parameters. But of course, there are many ways to get to the goal, right? So I just call this a PD. Okay, the next thing I'm doing now is positioning the only one slice on the right TMJ. In this example, of course. And I also have to mention you that this was done on a 1.5 Tesla, but this is also possible on 3T. So I'm just gonna apply for this one to check the, the quality of this sequence. So let's check this one now. So you can see here the TMJ comes okay, good here. You can see it right there. And uh, we're gonna do a uh, next move now is that I'm gonna drag the sequence down, copy that one. I'm gonna call it number two. And right now I'm gonna ask the patient to open the mouth a little bit and stay there. So I'm gonna do the next scan. And then I'm gonna make ready many more here. Number three, four, five, six. Depends on how far the patient can open the mouth, right? So now this one is done. I'm telling the patient to open the mouth a little bit more and do another scan of 33 seconds. So let's check the image quality right there. It's still good. So the thing is that I'm going to scan this one, uh, all these sequences with open mouth, more and more and more and more to the max. And then I'm going to do some post processing. Let me show you. So right now I'm just open the browser and then I'm going to mark all the sequences. So in this case, in this test, I did 11 scans. So I'm just going to mark them, drag and drop them into the viewing mode. So you see you have the different uh, possibilities to view these images four by one like this and two by one and one by one. So I recommend you to have this one by one, a big one. So it's much easier to do it post processing. Right now you can right click, select series, edit, select and then study. After you've done this, you can go to save as and now you can see that you are saving 11 images. That's what I did put in the viewing, right? So you can rename this to whatever you want. I'm just going to call it dynamic TMJ. Save that and then close this. And then I'm going back to the browser and I can see the sequences right there. Drag and drop it into viewing to check it. And then right down in the corner here, you have this, uh, this camera kind of thing. Just push this button and then automatically goes as a video. And whenever you've done that, you have the possibilities to make it fast or slower. So that's it. That's the TMJ right there with the meniscus. So this is one way you can do it. Of course, there are many other ways, but it's still pretty cool. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you find this video valuable. So I'm also wondering, do you do this kind of TMJ differently? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe and hit on the notification bell. So whenever new things from me are coming up, you will get a ding ding. So until next time, stay safe and uh, I'm very happy to see you staying till the far end of this video. Very much appreciated. So catch up with you on the next video. Peace out.